I had plans to get back out here the next day, but it's next week now. Um, yeah, I won't go into details, you've heard them before. Health and all. Um, so, this needs to be attached to the uh, chassis, trailer chassis. And in the last video, I was saying I was going to put these um, bits of 3x13 flat bar uh, to tie it together long ways. But I've realised actually I'm better off to go across ways like this, cut these down and go that way because um, these here can move along this long length. There's a bit of shift and I don't want these falling out. And also these bits of wood are supported lengthwise by the chassis rails anyway. And if I go across ways then I can put one across this bar and another one around here where I can mount another piece to so it will stay put and a some form of connector back here I expect um, so that's what I'm going to do today you might be wondering why I chose to run the wood across rather than lengthways down the trailer like you normally would this was basically because of what I had available these scraps of wood were meant for kindling you know they're going to go in the fire so they're quite short um, so I just worked with what I had I do have a few lengths that will do the full length but um, I'm saving those for the low boy trailer to go on the 8x8 so um, this one I thought I'd just knock out real quick and just use what I have lying around so um, we'll get to um, getting this so that it can be mounted and removed from the skeleton trailer today and also another thing I may do if I get time see if I can find a scrap somewhere uh, down here you'll see if I put this on semi properly um, I want to get some of this uh, it's about four mil four and a half mil rods I say some lengths of this and put it under here at about that height and run it along this underneath the sides here for tie downs and things like that just a small detail so I hope to get that done today as well but we'll see how we go all right onwards So what I've done is welded this little piece of uh, metal on here to, which is pretty much the same as what's on the bottom of the uh, tipper bin. So these will uh, engage with it and hold it pretty much in place. The next part is to, uh, oh, I've also put a strap across here on the board. The next part is to back here somewhere, uh, put some kind of arrangement on there to hold the back on. Uh, some clip arrangement I expect so I think I'll just think about that for a bit that's why I haven't put a uh, strap across the back yet because I'm not too sure what I'm going to do back there but uh, it'll come to me so progress um, so far so good
just felted the last piece on here, which is like a, we'll hold it in. This one here I just did. I didn't have my settings right and the welds were pretty pooey, so I've knocked that back. Uh, I don't think I filmed putting the strap on in this thing, I kind of, um, I forgot to turn on the camera. I remembered to put this last wee bit on, so uh, that there now has all the bits required to get this on here. Let's see if I can hold the camera. So, okay, this one here butts up against the centerpiece here. This one in here, when I push this forward, will drop down, and hopefully that there, uh, this rear part of the chassis, will slip under this wee tab here. So, let's try this. Yep, so that's under there now. Like that. So that's holding that end. Um, that one there is just to help keep it centered. This one here, once we uh, flick these back in, holds that bit. So now, hopefully, when I pick this up, it comes with it. Nice. All good. So I'm going to have so I've made myself some toasties, eh? I'm getting hungry, so I'm about to eat those. I did think, though, um, uh, there's a piece of meat I I did have a thought while I was doing this, if, if I put these down here, uh, they may fail with the, the wheels. Well, they can't. So, I'm not too sure where I'm going to put those under there as tiles. They'll be okay here, there's nothing to foul. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I'll have a wee think about it while I'm having lunch. If I was going to put them on the outside of this rod, like that, I would have done that before I welded the damn thing together, because I would have drilled the holes, and I would have, um, what do they call it, plug welded it from the back. Make it a bit tidier. Uh, yes, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do for the tie downs on the side, but the wooden deck is now attached to the skeleton chassis. Okay, so um, I decided just to run these rods along here anyway. Uh, SD card filled up while I was welding these on, and I didn't want to stop, so I just kept on going. But uh, should be alright. Get back on, oh, actually. I, it looks better from now, it probably makes more sense. So, yeah, should be alright. I'm not sure if I'm going to do much more on it today. Uh, it is pretty close there, but uh, I don't really care either, actually, to be honest. Yeah, so uh, the, um, the wood did catch fire a little bit with some of these. So, um, 
yeah that turned out all right i think i'm not too sure what i'll do at the front and the rear as far as the means to tie stuff on because i can't plug weld from the back i do have to finish welding up these corners they're just tacked on at the moment i'll do that now actually before i clean up uh, pack down the workshop uh yes yeah, so i've just um filled in the welds on the corners um, and um, grinded the ugly off because I'm a pretty shitty welder and I'll be the first guy to admit that so yeah and the side so it's pretty simple to put on I'll line it up there with one hand we'll see how I go done it's on then just pop those wee spring things underneath and she's secure so yep all good that's the day's mission i reckon all right fellas see you later catch you next time